There's nothing like a good jacuzzi. Oh, hey everybody. <laughs> I, I know. This is not a spring check. And you probably, you know, we could have shown you pictures from the desert. We could have shown you pictures from the car show. Oh, well, it's just starting. We're just picking stuff up right now. But instead, we're showing you pictures from the Can't jacuzzi. Be jacuzzi. I know. Well, it's going to be filmed up pretty soon because, you know, see, part of it is we want to do it. Well, why we're in the jacuzzi, but here's one thing is with the jacuzzi bubbles going on and on and on, it's kind of hard to hear, right? So meanwhile, while we're sitting there thinking about the jacuzzi, well, I have to tell you that news still does continue, especially, well, some of the biggest news, of course, is that, well, is it, what is that? The super storm that's over, or monster storm that's over in the eastern United States. But meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Let's yeah. get the top of the I know. I know. I know. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah. They said that, uh, that right now the president is being presidential. And because he's being presidential, it means that it's all over for Mitt Romney now. Only problem is, is his being presidential has stopped his campaign. He didn't have any momentum to begin with. And the day he got... The news, the fact that they don't consider him presidential, is costing him votes. He's now he has now lost six point a uh, four point lead in Ohio and two points behind in all of the polls. And help was asked for in Libya and denied. Not so, says the president. Oh yeah, he's basically adamant that if I'd have got the uh, if I'd have been asked for help, I would have sent it. But no one asked for help. The only problem is is that we have a general, that said, uh, a general of the Army, which has got four stars, said help was asked for. A general of the Air Force, that's asked four stars, said help was asked for. A general of the Marine Corps, who's four stars, that was asked for. And an admiral, who is four stars, said help was asked for, and it was denied. They were told to stand down, and there's only one person in the entire military structure that can order a generals and, a ma and an admiral to stand down, and that's the President of the United States. Ooh, and Monster Storm on the East Coast, responsible for over 1,300 canceled airline flights. Okay, the problem is, it's a bloody storm. It's nothing more than a storm. It's not the storm of a century. It's not a, it's not a tropical storm. It's not a hurricane. It's just a storm that just happened, like a one in a zillion chance that the storm came, a winter storm came rolling across the same time that a tropical storm hit, and it just produced a lot of water. But it's not just, you know, there's a, I'd rather have a lot of water than a hurricane or a fire. A Romney-Biden administration, it could happen. That's right. If, they have got two scenarios for it happening. One is that the President of the United States and Mitt Romney have an electoral battle and the Senate has to decide on it. The Senate, choosing not to get into the problem with Benghazi with this president, decide to vote Romney in as president and put um, and put Biden in as vice president, therefore making certain they keep control of the Senate. Uh, and the second method is they impeach, uh, they basically toss the president out before the election, defaulting to um, to Romney, and then Biden becomes vice president. That's it, and it could because the Senate is pissed off about this man. He's going to cost them possibly control of the Senate because he's totally. He, he is, he, he, I mean, like this morning, he basically unbelievably said, I'm not like George Bush who deliberately let people die. I'm going to be there proactive. No, uh. Bush didn't deliberately let people die, and Bush was there within hours of the problem with Katrina. But See, Obama. Now, the bad part is when he starts doing that, then they start analyzing all the things that he's done. Well, the problem is, is they said. That okay in Chicago politics, when things go bad, they start going, they start doubling down and getting really vicious. The the polls are all saying the people that support him don't like this side of him. They want the side, you know, the laughing, the the having a good time side. That side is totally gone. And he he spent five hundred million dollars attacking Romney, and the more he attacks Romney, the further Romney is ahead of him in the polls. And Nanny suspected of killing two kids in New York home. Yeah, and then she sliced her throat, which doesn't. Most people don't slice their own throats. That's Something very difficult. Doesn't sound yeah, I know quite it doesn't right. sound right. Yep. 
I mean, wouldn't you kill yourself some other way? Well, it's just like, um, I know a guy, the actor named Charles Rocket, that supposedly was uh, depressed, went out in a, in a field and cut his throat from ear to ear. That's, you know, it, it can be done, but it's, it's like the guy stabbing himself in the back. That's almost impossible. And AP has announced that Romney cannot win the election, um, but they aren't trying to chase Romney voters away. It's just Obama can't lose. I know. It, I mean, basically, AP is so in the tank they, they said there is no path that Romney can take to get to the votes needed. Despite the fact that Romney is leading nationally, Romney supposedly only needs one more state to win enough delegates, it's impossible for Romney to win. That's, that, but they understand Democrats don't add very well. And Tina Fey calls out the gray-faced men t talking about rape. Uh, okay, the problem is, is that uh, she's, she's not dealing only with Republicans, she's dealing with Democrats that are, are of the persuasion that uh, women don't get raped, women basically ask for it. And jailed punk rock, a punk band got what they deserved, Putin. Yeah, like they, happened. okay, they, they, they jailed the band because they wouldn't, so they basically condemned Putin, so he jailed them for being anti-Russia. Oh, well, yeah, no, you're the, still in Russia. <laughs> the, the problem is, is that these people do not, Putin is nothing but a Soviet dictator, and he, he, he basically circumnavigated the law that says he couldn't succeed himself, and then became, uh, six, then violated again by serving another term after they said you can only serve one term. And Obama tries a personal touch. We know what it's like to have a... Yeah. He's trying to be like, I'm one of you and Mitt Romney isn't. The only problem is, is that the President of the United States is a member of the 1% and has been a member of the 1% for quite a long time, folks. He makes, mil he makes more money a year than Mitt Romney brings in. And Warren versus Brown, Massachusetts Senate matchup is the hottest in the country. Well, here's the problem is, the uh, Massachusetts elected Scott Brown to stand up to the President of the United States that also meant in spending. The, uh, you know, so he basically had rubber stamped every spending bill the president, they said uh, Scott Brown, Olympia Collins, and Susan Snow could be counted upon to, um, to vote with the president on any spending bill he put up. And that's not what he was elected. They said, if we're going to have somebody that's going to vote with the president, we might as well have a member of the party we approve of in Massachusetts. Why well, never Brown sitting there saying, Oh, I'm not going to be a rubber stamp for the president. On everything that has to do with uh, spending money that this country doesn't have, he just gives him everything he wants. And Californians asked to end the death penalty to save money. That okay? Um, it makes no sense how it, it you you basically execute a person after the after the basic most of the time like the, the 14 years is the maximum. If you put a person in jail for 30 years, you spend more money jailing that person than you do executing that person. It's four, let's see, 14, 30, 14, 30, but remember, these are Democrats again, and they, they assume that uh, putting a person in jail for twice the time that he's going to be there actually saves money. And Syrian toddler thought dead reunited with parents. Yeah, well, I mean, what happened, okay, Syria is basically a civil war, and in civil war, dictators tend to win, it says uh, Libya was a civil war. The, the if the United States hadn't have intervened in, in Libya and intervened in uh, Egypt, the powers that be, which were not okay, Egypt was friendly to the United States. They no longer are. Uh, Libya basically was a, was a, an assistant to us in the Middle East. They no longer are. So we and um, Syria never has been. So the United States has, has no interest whatsoever in assisting the rebels there. And Obama rats blitz with Ohio rally. Yeah, and he basically is now he get, he basically jumped all up and down with his his mean side came out at the rally, which was which was taken from a large place and put in a place that they barely could fill, mm -hmm. because he's they said he's lost the young vote, because they they said as soon as you get out of school you have no chance whatsoever under Obama of getting employment. And Berlusconi sentenced to four years in jail over taxes. Oh, uh, I know. This is the problem. Okay, a person sentenced to jail because they didn't pay their taxes doesn't pay their taxes. 
Yeah. There's a there's it's like debtor's prison, which is unconstitutional. That's illegal. Debtor's prison is prevented by the Constitution of the United States, so therefore you cannot put a person in jail for a debt. Well, speaking about jails, Paul, Polish thieves accidentally steal a van with 12 coffins inside. I know. <laughs> it's <laughs> Halloween, folks. They do that a lot of times. It's not <laughs> accidental. And blowout junkies spend big bucks on perfect hair. I, I know. The, okay. Uh, well, Mitt Romney is an example. Edwards, the Democrat, let's see, um, let's see that unkempt look that um, that uh, John Kerry has, those are all like $500 blowjobs. And Santa Monica's party house gives neighbors a hangover. Well, no, the problem is you can do anything you want to do till 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And they're, you know, they're bitching up a storm does no good because they obey the laws. It's just, the, the problem is, is the people to put these laws in were the one they put the laws in because they wanted to prevent people from them partying all night long. This is what they did when they were young. They wanted to make certain that other people weren't able to do it when they got older, and now they want to restrict it to eight o'clock now. Eight o'clock. Yep, they want the partying to stop at eight o'clock now. Oh my gosh, animosity bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, no matter how much time you set aside to get something done, something can always come and make certain it doesn't happen.